So if this is a dwelling where somebody resides, like a home or an apartment, um, that overcurrent protection device has to be within 10 feet of the tap. If it is something other than a dwelling, such as a warehouse or something of that nature, then that, that overcurrent protection has to be 16.5 feet. Um, also, 705.11C1 is going over line versus load. Basically, uh, when the PV system disconnect is in the off position, if there are fuses that are inserted in that disconnect, they have to be de-energized so that they could easily be replaced. Um, and essentially, in order to do that, you're going to want the tap to be on the line side of the disconnect and the solar or storage system to be on the load side of the system disconnect. So if you get into a situation where you're doing a tap inside and maybe you need to put the PV system disconnect outside by the meter and that exceeds the 10 or the 16.5 feet, what a lot of people will do is put two disconnects, one by the tap, either a main breaker enclosure or a fuse disconnect. Um, and then from there, add another non-fuse disconnect outside by the meter 